that was shocking, wasn't it? Um, oh, Josh did, did, did you think that we could get a result before the game? Was you, was you surprised with how bad we were? Yes, City yeah. are a far better team than us, but you know, after what we did to them at the Etihad, well, I was you thinking? The right score coming in. I said to my, I said who I was coming in with. I was like, oh, I think, I think three one today. I got, the, I got the right score line, just the wrong way around. Why did we not lay a glove on them? I mean, you, oh, you talking? Gosh, I know they got better players than us in in, in the positions, but even the fight, the press, it just wasn't there. Flex, I spoke to you after Arsenal. What does Lingard offer? Lingard, Lingard again today, man. What's he in the team for? I don't understand it. Doesn't make any sense to me. Matic actually looked all right when he came on, to be honest. He didn't look terrible. I thought, you know, Gomez coming on like late in the day. Why isn't he starting? Why? Is that throwing Gomez under the bus? Is that a message yeah. to Gomez to almost say, you know, 3 0 down against City? There you go. Have, have, have a chance exactly. now. Because where has he been? Exactly. We're, we're playing Gomez like City play Foden. Bring him on for a little cameo here and there. What the fuck, man? He's probably going to go to. It, there's links to Barcelona and all that. He'll probably go to Barcelona and be a fucking superstar. Style, and we'll be looking back in two years' time going, oh, why didn't we sign him? Like we did with Pogba. Like we did with Pogba. Why didn't we sign him up? And again today, like we just didn't look the midfield just got overrun. And City played, they, they looked, they looked like they had 20 men on the pitch today, man. The, going back and forth, no problem at all. Absolutely played us off the park. Yeah, they, they, we didn't they, lay a glove on them, did we? They wasn't, didn't come was, out of second gear, I really. mean you look at our midfield from, from the jump, and for me that was just alarm bells. Yeah. Um, Fred Pereira. Um, and Lingard yeah. against Gundogan, De Bruyne, um, Rodri. and Rodri. I mean that 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 screams alarm bells, doesn't it? We, we got a fucking like Pereira is not. I say I say Pereira is a low end Premier League player. Like he's not. He's probably Newcastle level. Realistically, he's not great. He's not amazing. And every time he has a shot outside the box, you're thinking, oh, this is going in Rose's head. Mm -hmm. He hasn't he hasn't looked like a threat from a shot from outside the box since the youth team levels. Mm -hmm. He scored that one against Southampton. That's been about it. Mm -hmm. Brandon Williams is probably the only bright light out of the game today. I thought he played well. He and did, I, yeah. I don't think he has had a bad game for United this year mm -hmm. yet. Really what, what did you make of Rashford was a captain today. Rashford um, and Greenwood had, were off the boil today. They, they did not look on. They didn't. Not that they, didn't, they didn't look up for it to be honest. Rashford didn't look like himself. He didn't look like he was chasing everything. You know, maybe he's carrying a knock or something because Rolly doesn't seem to be rotating that team enough. Mm. And he's, he's he must be fatigued or something because the two of them just did not look up for it today. Can Oli can Oli rotate it more than than he is? You know, you look at the. The, the injuries that we've got, yeah. the lack of depth that we've got. Is he doing the maximum the amount he can, or do you still yeah. think he should be doing better rotation-wise yeah, with well, what he's got? He should. Well, that, that's that's the point. No, we don't have the squad depth for it. Mm. And you know what? What are we going to do? We're not going to be bringing in. A, you know, we've got Mason in from the under uh, from the under 23s. We can't be bringing in. Can't bring in a lad from the under fucking 18s to the under 16s. You can't mm. get younger and younger. Mm. We don't have a, a deep enough squad, and that is you know down to the owners again. And we're rotten from the core. That's mm. the problem with the club. At the no moment. one's really spoke about De Gea today in that first half his kicking his distribution his decision making it was it, you know towards the end of last season we're all saying look he's in bad form but he wants to sign his contract we don't know if he wants to sign it let's hopefully settles down he signs it and we're like right we should have our De Gea back and he's looking shakier and shakier and shakier, and, shakier. Anything, and we've got Dean Henderson out on loan at Sheffield United who looks like a top top quality Premier League keeper so, you know, you've got players like that in the club and De Gea is just not off, off on form. And I mean, I've seen something on Instagram, I don't know, don't know how true it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, ignore, him, ignore them, man. Uh, I don't know how true it was. It's Guardiola saying that he could see through the Wolves game that Oli had some sort of a game plan. We have no game plan, man. What game plan do we have? We don't look, we don't look like anything. Joe, you know I said it earlier, we're like Stoke with fast forwards. That's literally what it is. Long ball up, hope Rashford runs yeah, onto it. You know it. what? Because I saw us doing James that. It was like a long straight ball, so long ball into channel bypass him. Hope, hope, hope either Greenwood, Rashford, or James runs onto it. That's our fucking playing. We're playing like Stoke did in 09, 10, in 09, 10. That is literally what we're like. We're just a shit. We're just a we're just a fast version of Stoke. That's literally what we are. And the midfield, we need to address it. It likes Emre Chan being linked. To the, you know, he's better than what we've got. We need to sign someone, but I can't see it. And Rat says if we ain't signing no one in January, I can't see it. And I think it's going to be a long season now, man. Nice one, bro. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. Big thank you to you guys for watching the latest of our videos. And if you want to check out more, make sure you do that just to the right of me. We are the biggest and best Manchester United channel in the world. Make sure you check us out on all of the socials as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. The socials are along the bottom. Peace.